In our daily lives, without even realizing it, we are constantly exposed to the manipulation of those around us, advertisements, and even social media. But what are these hidden techniques? How do they influence our decisions? And most importantly, how can we protect ourselves from these traps? Today, we're unveiling the dark side of manipulation and the psychological games behind it. Watch closely, because in this video, you will learn how to shield yourself and those around you from manipulation techniques. Manipulation is the deliberate act of guiding someone's thoughts, emotions, and actions to serve one's own purposes. It is often done to benefit the manipulator at the expense of the manipulated. The most dangerous aspect of manipulation is that it often goes unnoticed. People can fall into these traps without realizing that someone is steering their thoughts or controlling their actions. Manipulation can be encountered in various areas, at work, within the family, and even through media and advertisements. We may constantly be exposed to manipulation techniques, but they don't always appear as an obvious threat. Manipulative people are highly skilled at analyzing the weaknesses of those around them and use these vulnerabilities to get what they want. They often present themselves as friendly, helpful, or trustworthy, but their true intention is to exploit others emotionally or financially. Here are some common traits of manipulative personalities. Lack of empathy. They are indifferent to the feelings of others and don't care about how the other person feels. Cunning and strategic thinking. They carefully plan and use situations and people to their advantage. Desire for control. Manipulative individuals strive to dominate relationships to benefit themselves. Avoiding responsibility. When confronted with their wrongdoings, they deflect blame onto others and avoid accountability. Skilled liars. Manipulators are adept at twisting the truth and lying to suit their needs. They can distort facts to justify their actions and make themselves seem right. Gaslighting. Gaslighting is a method by which a manipulator makes a person doubt their own reality. In this technique, the manipulator constantly questions the experiences, feelings, or memories of the other party, leading them to feel that they are wrong. Over time, the victim becomes unable to trust their perception and grows increasingly dependent on the manipulator. For example, if someone continuously says, you're remembering this event wrong, it didn't happen that way, or you're overreacting, everything is perfectly normal, you might be a victim of gaslighting. Guilt induction. In this technique, the manipulator keeps inducing feelings of guilt in the other person to control them. The person unconsciously feels compelled to fulfill the manipulator's wishes, as not doing so would make them feel bad and guilty. An example might be statements like, While I make so many sacrifices for you, not doing this is really selfish, which can push the other person to comply with the manipulator's requests. Love bombing. Love bombing is when a manipulator overwhelms someone with excessive attention and affection to gain control over them. This technique is especially common in romantic relationships. The manipulator initially showers the victim with love, making them feel special, but this attention gradually diminishes, making the victim dependent. For instance, a relationship filled with constant compliments and gifts in the beginning can evolve into mutual dependency, where the person becomes reliant on that initial affection. Threats and passive-aggressive behaviors. Manipulators try to control others through threats or passive-aggressive behaviors, instilling fear or intimidation. These threats may not always be direct, but can create an environment where the other person feels insecure and is compelled to act according to the manipulator's wishes. For example, a passive-aggressive threat like, If you keep doing this, I will have to think about the future of our relationship, can force a person to yield to the manipulator's demands. The most effective way to defend ourselves against manipulation is to gain awareness. Here are some strategies you can apply to protect yourself. Set boundaries. Establish your personal boundaries and don't hesitate to defend them. Manipulators often gain control by pushing people's boundaries. Don't question your feelings and reality. If someone is making you question your experiences or feelings, take a step back. Trust your perceptions and feelings. Don't feel guilty. Recognize and acknowledge the feeling of guilt if someone is constantly making you feel that way and don't allow the other party to guide your emotions. Everyone has their own responsibilities, and you are not obligated to take on theirs. Trust your instincts. If you feel you are in a manipulative situation, trust your instincts. If something makes you uncomfortable, pay attention to it and reassess the situation. By following these steps, you can reduce the impact of manipulation and protect yourself. Awareness, strong boundaries, and solid self-confidence can help you avoid falling into these types of games. Thank you for listening up to this point, my friend. I hope this video has elevated your understanding and management of manipulation to a higher level. We love you. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing to support us. It really means a lot. Until the next video, take care of yourself.
Goodbye.